Hey, if you like collecting dragonflight, you will need a lot of them. Dragon eye supplies. Let's start with the best source of those right away. Dragon riding races. Once you have dragon riding unlocked, you get access to 25 dragon riding races all over the dragon islands. In those challenges, you race on a pre-made course against the time. There are three different times to beat, namely bronze, silver and gold. Completing those races with the best time requires having all dragon glyphs unlocked, so if you don't have them yet, I recommend to grab them. I use the handy notes add-on to find the glyphs, so I will link that add-on in the description. Completing each race rewards you with dragon eye supplies. Very important, those supply rewards are only once per character. Achieving bronze time gives you 15 supplies, silver time gives you 30 supplies, and gold time gives you 50 supplies. For example, if you get the gold time right away, you get 95 supplies. No need to do bronze or silver. Before you complete every race, head to Sailor Moor in the Waking Shores. He has a quest line which requires you to do every race at least once, which we will need later. The quest also marks every race on the map, so you will already roughly know the location of each race for future characters. The quest also updates in retrospect, so if you have some challenges done already, you don't have to do them again. I also posted the coordinates for each race in the description. After you completed every race, preferable on gold but not required, and turn in the fourth quest of Silomo, he offers a new quest line called Advanced Dragon Riding Races. Which is almost the same as the previous quest line, just with advanced races. The reward for completing the advanced races quest line is having advanced races unlocked on alts. Those advanced races are at the same location, but every race has a more strict time limit as well as some extra obstacles, but also better rewards. Advanced Bronze rewards 25 supplies, Advanced Silver rewards 50 supplies, and lastly Advanced Gold rewards 80 supplies, for a total of 155 supplies. So quick maths, 25 normal races with 95 supplies is roughly 2400 supplies, and 21 advanced races with 150 5 supplies is roughly 3200 for a total of 5600 dragon eye supplies. Depending on your speed and experience of the races, that can be done between 60 and 90 minutes and if you're a bit more unexperienced or do it for the first time, it maybe takes you 2 hours, maybe a little bit more for all of the races. Stay a fantastic farm and nothing else will come even close. So some various tips for dragon eye racing and dragon eye supplies. If you are unsure what race you have done on which character, as usual I recommend the other things add-on. There you can see which races your character has completed, as well in which time, bronze the silver gold. If you only wish to track if you have completed the race or not, maybe only on silver because gold is too difficult for you, you can get back to Silomo in the Waking Shores, and he will track every advanced race you have completed on your old. The quest is as previous mentioned retrospective, so we see right away what races you uh, can do on silver. The races can be done on every character at level 60 or higher. As of right now, this farm can be done on trial characters, but I assume that will be fixed eventually. Similar how they did with trial characters farming anima back in Shadowlands. Some of you might remember my video. Trial characters can be played for 3 hours or until you relock twice, whatever comes first. Almost every reward you can buy with Dragon Eye supplies is account wide. Some do require renown levels, but for example, the talent tree for the Dragon Scale Camp faction is account wide and can be skilled with a trial character. The rewards from the Cobalt faction in Azure Span can also bought on any character if you have the required reputation achieved once with any character on your account. Raphion and Sebellium rewards can be bought with any character on level 70 if you have the max friendship rank with any char on your account. For the races you want to fly upwards whenever the next checkpoint is on a higher altitude, for every other case you want to flap forwards. Many races are only difficult because you don't know the path yet, once you do, most of them are very easy to time on gold. Use a weak aura to track your speed, usually you want to stay above 1000% speed. Don't spend every week or ASAP, I usually use 3 at the start to gain 1000% speed and use all of them before the final checkpoint, the rest depends on the course. For the sake of completion, other sources for dragon supplies are playing the game. But in case you are asking what does playing the game mean, in no specific order, many world quests usually reward between 5 and 20 supplies. 
Heavy 4th to 5th treasure on every bit rewards you with 15 supplies, both normal treasures and dirt you can dig up with a shovel. Chests rewarded from quests, such as the key quest near Refion, usually rewards between 15 to 30 supplies. Any rares that we reset daily, such as the invasion rares, give you between 10 and 20 supplies per kill. Events, such as the elemental chest in Kumi Time and Tetrasos, also rewards you with 15 to 20 supplies. Normal elites, for example at the Cobalt Assembly spot, also sometimes stop a couple of Dragon Eye supplies. And that should be all the sources of Dragon Eye supplies. As you can see, it's very small compared to the races itself. It still adds over time, because you know, just playing the game, always fun, we always get some extra supplies. But if you really want to grind it, Dragon races are way to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe, as it helps me out tremendously. And I wish you a great day. Bye!